let's let's maybe dive in to some of this arcade mode. I want to know what this has in store. Where is Oh dang. Okay, you can do it twice. There we go. Yo, you're done. Right? So, like, I'm gonna have to see if there's any, like, teching. If there's, are there rolls? Are there throw techs? It ain't easy being green. Oh, of course. I love that. Pink has won the game. You were not ejected. Mmm. That's quality. Quality fan game work. Wait a second. Pink? That's an imposter, my friends. Oh no, the tick throw? Okay, there is air blocking. Good to know. That wasn't a good meaty. Mm. Can't be dropping my juggles like that. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'll, I'll try to figure that out. See if there's some push blocking here. I'll just try to block. And he's just gonna throw me. No, doesn't seem to be. Let's see if I can throw tech. Yes, there are throw techs though. Yeah, let's see, uh, let's see how big of a window. I'm not really sure. Oh, damn. Okay, that's a big window on hit, at least. Oh, I can get another jump in on counter hit. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he did the jump kick, and I tried to jab him, and he was able to throw me out of it. So just as a, a sense of... Because that seemed like it was a pretty high jump in, too. Come on, block it. Whoops. Like, yeah, I hit him on the way up with that, and it still whiffed. Yeah, I'd wager jump, the jumping light attack here, the little kick, is is the intended jump in or cross up. Though, honestly, I'm not sure how much you really want to be in the air. Okay. From the distance. Oh. Ah, dang. Yeah, that, that'll be the cross up there. Right? So yeah, what's the good anti-air? Probably, yeah, being in the air seems to lead to pain. Uh, I'd wager, like, gun's pretty slow, but it does have a hit on, like, draw. Oof. Oh, 
right? Stand, stand heavy, probably good anti-air from further. Whoop. Tried to get cute. <laughs> okay, knife seems to work. Ah, but the throws. And you can't seem to get anything off throws. on the heavy. Just gotta commit. There we are. Like, ah, oh man. Like, games like this are excellent, just like the fun pick-up-and-play fighters. This is... Like, I love going to weeklies and trying out a bunch of new games, but... Man, some games are complex, like, you just try to show me Tekken and be like, yo, get really dig Tekken in your first, you know, 30 minutes with it. And it's like, if you're not dedicated to learning a new game, that can get super frustrating. But there's so much crossover with all, like, like, crossover knowledge with other fighting games with this, and it's like a narrow enough design space that you're really able to just, like, pick up the game and go with it. Yeah, this is what a Flash fighting game would have been like, 100%. Right? It's it's just enough to be like, yes, 100% this is a fighting game, um, without being like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, like, spend a week to really crack the code, um, and then I'm, I'm playing with the, the coolest bits. Yeah, right off Newgrounds. Newgrounds is amazing for that kind of stuff. They did, like, a, a whole bunch of the Newgrounds creators were really good about doing that with whatever their preferred genre was, where you're like, oh, I get, a, like, a brawler beat em up uh, with just enough, like, core RPG mechanics. And then you get to play with that for, you know, several levels or whatever it might be. Um, and, uh, yeah, it just was great to experiment, not only as a player, but as a designer. I wanted the gun. Hey there, Demal Koopa, how you doing? Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Toby, it's a Unity game. There you go, developed by Star Cutters using UFE 3D. This is another thing. You will see Universal Fighting Engine being used in a lot of indie games. It's basically middleware that's available for Unity that allows, that is like, that just like, it's a fighting game engine, right? And so it does a whole bunch of it for you. You don't have to do the core low level engine programming, though you can, and you can go in and modify it, but um, it gives you a really great base to work off of. And you see a lot of indie game devs. Bayani, the Filipino developer, uh, developed fighting game, uses it. Fantasy Strike uses it. Um, there's oh, there was a couple others as well. But yeah, now now the Among Us fighting game. So it's a great. It seems like it's a great tool for for like small to mid level developers to be able to pick up. It's relatively cheap. You can get a version that has rollback netcode built into it, though I'm unsure how good it actually is. Yo Koopa, yeah, no, doing well. I'm really enjoying checking out all of these new fighting games. I hope you're I hope you're excited to see some. Among Us Arena. I go, okay, like, where's... This is the thing. There has to be an imposter, right? Oh? 
Wait a second, you can go off screen. Oh, I don't have a name all of a sudden? Okay, I am 100% convinced <laughs> that this is, there's something different about this character, but I can't figure it out. I just, maybe it's just a joke. I don't know. Wow, I was brave to do that. Mm, doesn't work in the corner, maybe? Oh, hits from behind! Oh, I'm always amazed. So yeah, Star Cutter is the, uh, the, the devs behind this game here. And they said that they are working on another fighting game, and this is kind of a side project um, that, they, that they've decided to do in the meantime. Wait, does that have armor? Because I hit you. Anyways, yeah. So I'd be, I'll, I'll be very interested to see what, um, what kind of fighting game Star Cutter decides to explore, right? If it's if this is kind of a how complex do I want to make it test, or if this is a uh, more of a proof of concept of the system that they will be using. And hey, I gotta say, if anybody wants to hop into an online match, which this game has, definitely go check out the Star Cutter itch.io page, which has a bunch of different regioned versions, like different executables for different regions if you're playing online. I have the Canada East uh, version, so 100% go check that out. Gun, come on. There we are. Yeah, I haven't been able to find any hidden supers or any hidden special moves. Um, I've definitely tried like button motions um, and all of the directionals. Okay. Throws through all that, though. That's the big thing. Like, throws aren't leading to much. I can't even tell really how much Oki you get off of them. Wait, I had another one? Maybe I changed the loop enough that it didn't recognize um, it as just a straight, like, infinite. But yeah, not even anything. I can't even seem to find anything different about the imposter.
There we are. Beauty. Yo, it's a, it's a tight little game. I did see um, I did see somewhere that Starcutter said that they were not going to be doing many additions to the game. That this is like pretty much what it what it should be because obviously they're working on something else, so they should probably focus on their actual game that they're making, their commercial title. But that uh, there there might be a couple additions. It would be fun if they had some if they had some extra art to uh, give people some. You know, everyone loves hats. Let's be honest. Yeah, I know. I, I honestly thought they were going to run me through just all 20 colors as well, right? But no, it seems to be just like five, um, like a five character loop. All right, let me, th this is just fun. Like, I, I just like doing the, there's so much potential with the combos in this game where it's just, because ev basically everything juggles, you just have a couple small limits on it. Being able to just modify your combo and kind of just do freestyle combos based on the height and the spacing. Yeah, that's right, Monk. Give him all the evil archetype moves. Granted, um, a gun and a uh, giant serrated threatening looking knife is, is pretty... Pretty evil. I would say evil adjacent. Come on, there we go. I'm losing I'm losing the flow here. Gotta get back. I'm not canceling into knives. I should try to figure out how the gun works a little bit better. There's all the knockback on it, which is the problem, but you can cancel into the dash. See, so like that's... There you go, right? So it's so spacing dependent. Well, that's a good idea, Toby. Yeah, if you're gonna go all out with making the imposter unique, then yeah, some some big move customization and unique styles, something like that. At least of the Tekken style, customized add moves. That would be cool. Yeah, making making a loadout. Right. Think of the um, the Smash Brothers uh, alternate move sets. Right, where you can get like yeah, different up A's, different or up B's. Um, and whatever the case may be. I always found that really entertaining. Like, I, I liked playing with some of the the alternate sets for Mega Man. But it's a shame. Like, you never really see many tournaments uh, engage in that. So I never saw it at a competitive level, which I, I always felt was a shame. It would be really interesting to see what competitive players would do with that kind of variety. Granted, when you look at, like, Mortal Kombat and the variations in that, you see a lot of competitive players really hate them. Too far, okay. It's it's always really interesting when you make those kind of design decisions around variations and custom movesets for competitive play, because I mean, if you have to like with Smash Brothers where you have to unlock them, um, it makes it very troublesome for tournament organizers and then even players right where it's like you don't know if you want them until you go through the trouble of unlocking them for all these characters right and they can fundamentally change how some characters play so it's like do you want to put that burden on them i don't know
a rage burst that is like pressing the emergency meeting button. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, there are so many good ideas, right? Like, I, I, I love the idea that it's like all the characters, like the character select is just the same character and it's just different colors, right? And you just have the, move, the one move set. Like, that's it. Like all the, other than the imposter, everything in Among Us is the same, right? So that's why it's almost a shame. Like you get this, I hope that's one of the things they're gonna add, honestly, because they said they're not gonna add much, but maybe they will add that, like that that's being worked on, but they wanted to get the core game out first. Because if you're only going to do one or two revisions to it, then you want to make sure you get some feedback and then you can add in your, you know, your final mechanic or your final twist. They should have added random select just for the lulls. 